Ever wondered how green squash is harvested? It's a process that requires a keen eye and a gentle touch. Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of green squash, a versatile vegetable that's as delightful to grow as it is to eat. Harvesting green squash is a delicate dance between timing and technique. It's not just about picking the squash off the vine, you have to know when it's at its peak, when it's perfectly ripe and ready to be plucked from its leafy home. And then there's the technique. You don't want to damage the squash or the plant it comes from, so you need to handle it with care. This is a craft that gardeners have been perfecting for centuries. Every squash is a testament to their skill, their patience, and their passion for the Earth's bounty. So, are you ready to learn how to harvest your very own green squash? Let's dive right in. The first step to a successful harvest is knowing when your green squash is ready to be picked. Identifying a mature squash is a bit of an art, and it becomes easier with experience. Let's delve into the signs of a mature green squash. One of the most apparent indications is the change in color. As the squash matures, it transitions from a vibrant glossy green to a more subdued dull shade. This change in color is your first clue that the squash is nearing its prime for harvest. Now let's talk about the hardness of the skin. A mature squash has a tough outer skin that can resist gentle pressure from your fingernail. If you can easily pierce the skin with your fingernail, the squash is still immature and needs more time to ripen. However, be careful not to apply too much force while testing, as this could damage the squash. Another sign to look for is the thickness of the squash. A mature squash will feel heavy and firm for its size. When you hold it in your hand, it should have a solid feel to it, not hollow or lightweight. The condition of the stem can also provide valuable clues. A dry, shriveled stem is often a good indicator that the squash is ready for harvest. On the other hand, a green, juicy stem suggests that the squash needs more time to mature. Remember, each variety of squash may have slightly different signs of maturity, but these general guidelines should give you a good starting point. A word of caution here. Patience is key in the garden. Don't rush the harvest. Giving your squash ample time to mature will result in a better taste and texture, and a longer storage life. Now that you know how to identify a ripe green squash, it's time to learn how to harvest it. Harvesting green squash isn't as simple as just pulling it off the vine. It requires a specific technique to ensure the squash isn't damaged. Now let's dive into the details of this process. First off, you'll need a sharp knife or a pair of garden shears. When you've located a mature squash, and remember we talked about how to identify these in our previous scene, you're going to want to make a clean cut on the stem. Aim for about an inch or two from the squash itself. This leaves a short stub of the stem on the squash. You might wonder why we're doing this. Well, this little stub is actually a protective barrier that prevents rot and disease from creeping into the squash after it's been harvested. Now here's a crucial point to remember. Always handle your squash with care. These vegetables can be surprisingly delicate, and rough handling can lead to bruising. You might not see the damage immediately, but trust me, a bruised squash will deteriorate faster and lose its fresh flavor. So be gentle. Imagine you're handling a precious artifact. Also, avoid the temptation to stack your freshly harvested squash too high. The weight can cause the squash at the bottom to bruise. Instead, spread them out in a cool, dry place. Handling them this way ensures you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor longer. And one last thing, never ever use the stem as a handle. It might be tempting, but pulling on the stem can cause it to break off, leaving an open wound on the squash. This is an open invitation for bacteria and rot. Now you've successfully harvested your green squash. But what's next? Once you've harvested your green squash, it's important to take care of it properly to prolong its shelf life. The first step in post-harvest care is cleaning your squash. This can be done using a soft cloth or a soft bristled brush to gently remove any dirt or debris that may have clung to the squash during harvesting. Be careful not to bruise or scratch the skin of the squash as this can lead to premature rotting. Next, it's time to dry your squash. You can do this by simply leaving the squash in a well-ventilated area for a few hours until it's completely dry. The drying process helps to seal the small wounds that may have been caused during harvesting and prevents the entry of any harmful microbes. Once your squash is clean and dry, it's time to talk about storage. The best place to store your green squash is in a cool dry place. The ideal temperature is around 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. It's also important to ensure that your squash isn't exposed to direct sunlight or extreme temperature changes, as these conditions can cause the squash to deteriorate more quickly. 
The storage area should also have good air circulation. This helps to prevent the buildup of moisture which can lead to rotting. If you're storing multiple squashes make sure they're not touching each other. This small space between each squash allows for better air circulation and reduces the risk of one rotten squash affecting the others. Another important aspect of post-harvest care is regularly checking on your stored squash. If you notice any signs of decay like mold or soft spots, remove the affected squash immediately to prevent the rot from spreading to the other squashes. With these tips your green squash will stay fresh for longer, but what if you have too many squashes to use yourself? If you have a surplus of green squash, selling them at your local countryside market is a great way to make some extra cash and share your harvest with others. Now, let's delve into the nitty-gritty of preparing your bounty for sale. Firstly, it's vital to ensure your squash are clean. No one wants to buy produce that looks like it's been dragged through the mud. A gentle rinse under the tap should do the trick. Take care not to scrub too hard as you don't want to damage the skin. Once they're clean, it's time to think about packaging. While it's not necessary to package your squash, a little presentation can go a long way. A simple basket or crate lined with straw or tissue paper can make your squash look more appealing. Setting up a stall at the market is a new adventure in itself. Look for a spot that gets plenty of foot traffic. Once you've secured a space, set up a table and arrange your squash in an eye-catching display. A colorful and organized stall can attract potential customers from afar. Now, let's talk about pricing. It's important to price your squash reasonably. Too high and you might scare customers away. Too low and you risk not making a profit. A good rule of thumb is to check out what others are charging for similar produce and price it accordingly. Interacting with customers is perhaps one of the most enjoyable parts of the process. Be friendly, be approachable and most importantly, be ready to share your knowledge about your produce. Customers love to hear the story behind their food. Share with them how you grew your squash, the variety, and even some of your favorite recipes. Selling your green squash can be a rewarding experience, and it's a great way to share your love of gardening with others. Not only are you putting your green thumb to good use, but you're also contributing to your local community. So why not give it a go? Harvesting green squash isn't just a task, it's an art, and now you're an artist. We've journeyed together through the world of green squash from the humble beginnings of identifying maturity in our squash to the technical finesse involved in the actual harvest. We've seen the care and attention necessary after the harvest, ensuring that our squash remains delicious and nutritious, and we've taken our bounty to the bustling countryside market where our hard work pays off. Each step, a brushstroke on the canvas of our garden, contributing to the masterpiece that is our green squash harvest. This process is a testament to the passion and dedication that goes into every aspect of gardening. It's not just about the end product, but the journey there. So, as you venture out into your own garden, remember the artistry involved. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the process of green squash harvesting. Happy gardening!